Hi folks, welcome back to Mike and Trisha out in the boot. We're currently in the southeast coast of Australia in a little place called Mooloolaba. That's M O O L O O L A B A Mooloolaba, it's roughly a hundred kilometers, that's about 60 miles north of Brisbane. Now when we were out for a walk today, we had a good look around and we came across a statue of Steve Irwin. Now Steve was famously known on TV as the Crocodile Hunter and he tragically died in 2006 from an injury caused by a stingray in the Great Barrier Reef. We're going out for the day and we'll be travelling along a road that's actually named after Steve as we head out to the Glasshouse Mountains. That's where we're going today. <laughs> As we head off, Gemma's driving and she's being extra cautious. Don't bump the car, don't bump the car, car, don't bump the car, don't bump the car, car, stressing out, stressing out, oh my god, don't bump the car. As we head out, it's a beautiful sunny day. Well, is there any other kind of day here in Australia? We're taking the road headed towards Brisbane and it's not long before we're on the Steve Irwin Way. We've arrived at the Glass House Mountains lookout point. The mountains are volcanic plugs, remnants of volcanic activity that occurred around 25 to 27 million years ago. They were named by Captain Cook, who noted in his diaries that the mountains are remarkable for the singular form of their elevation, which very much resembles a glass house. Cook was referring to the glass-making kilns of Yorkshire in England, which were known as glass houses. We've stopped in for a coffee at the Lookout Cafe. Now, unfortunately, the views weren't all that great up at the viewing point for the glass house mountains. Obviously, the mountains themselves are pretty spectacular, but the light just isn't quite right at the moment, so we're going to go for a little drive, possibly go for a short walk somewhere. That coffee was very nice and after we'd had the coffee there was quite a few birds pecking around and looking for some crumbs around the table. Just got me thinking, I'd quite like to go and see some birds, some native birds while we're here in Australia. Maybe that's something for tomorrow, but for now we're going to jump back in the car and see if we can get a little bit closer to these mountains. We've decided to give up on the mountains for the time being and we've come out to Mary Cairncross Park. Now this is one of the best preserved remnants of a rainforest in Australia. So we're going to have a good look around. It's a circular walk we'll be doing and it's very well signposted. As we head off we've got dappled sunlight coming through the canopy hitting us on the boardwalk. We know that there's going to be lots to do and see on this walk. It's just pretty incredible how these come all the way down from the canopy of the tree and then they just seem to spread out on the forest floor in a big tangle and probably send up shoots for the next tree. The sign at the tree tells us that it's a Watkins fig tree. It germinates in the canopy in a host tree and then sends down roots to the forest floor, eventually growing to form a wide strangler fig so called because the roots thicken and it eventually kills the host tree, leaving the fig with a hollow trunk once the host tree decays. We've just seen some pretty interesting critters. There was a big snake back there, wasn't there? Yeah, it was a big uh, carpet python. That was huge. It was a fat boy. It so was. I think it's just had a meal. It was looking big. And we've seen a family of trapdoor spiders as well, the ones that burrow, not the ones with the actual 
trapped door. So well, we didn't see the actual spiders though, did we? No, 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 we didn't, but there was a family of them, so it was about five. We've just seen the holes? Yeah, just the holes, but I get told it was, it was kind of, well, it looked very spidery, didn't it? It did, yeah, and then there was these little marsupial things as well, wasn't there? They were like tiny little wallabies, what were yeah, they, they, what were, were they were paddy melons, so they were little cuties. They were very paddy very melons. Mm -hmm. We were standing for a while trying to get a shot of them because they were quite elusive. They were staying back for a while and then they started mm -hmm. coming a little bit closer to the path. So we were on stealth mode, weren't we? Mm -hmm. And Gemma had her phone out and I had the camera out and we were trying our best to get a shot. I think we got mm -hmm. one or two shots. Yeah. We're back in the car. I think we all enjoyed that rainforest, but in the end, we've decided not to go back to that viewing point for the Glasshouse Mountains simply because it's really, really cloudy and we're just not fortunate enough to get the light for the best shots of the mountains. So that's going to be it for today, but tomorrow we are definitely going to be out to see some birds. Yes, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. It's going to be bird day. This is where we are today, the Maloney Botanic Gardens and Bird World. Spiders bee. Peekaboo! <laughs> Having fun? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Where are we going to the, see the farm animals or the birds or something? Yeah, we're going to see the bird show. Bird show at two o'clock? Yes. There's an amazing oriental garden in here as well. Somebody's having a nap. There's a giant chair up here. There's Trisha getting into the giant's chair. You going up, Gemma? Yeah, I'll go up. Go in then, you go up. There you go. Two totty little girls. How does it feel to be so small? Fabulous. You like being small? I am small. I'm just smaller. We lost? Yeah. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We're, we're in front of... Um, to that, that pond. pond. Yeah. That's that pond down there. Yep. So the farm animals are over there. Farm animals. Are you sure you want to go and see farm animals? Yes. You can see these any day. I want to see the farm animals. Yeah, me too. So does Gemma. She um, wants to see the guinea pigs. Well, maybe the farm animals in Australia are different to farm animals back home. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Well, actually, surprise, surprise, farm animals in Australia are the same farm animals in the UK. But these are definitely worth coming to see because these animals have all been rescued, apart from the pygmy goats. Trisha's favourite is definitely these miniature donkeys, and I think this one has actually fallen asleep standing up. After the farm animals, we have a very quick look around the rose garden, but we don't take long because we have an appointment with some birds. It's two o'clock, so we're going to see us some birds. We're just, we're just going into parrot dice. If parrot dice is half as nice as heaven that you take me to. <laughs> Don't you just love it when your dad shows you up in public? <laughs> We're going in now. You have to take off jewellery because the birds can grab anything shiny. And Trisha's had to put some tape over her ears where our earrings are. This is the area where you can actually interact with some of the birds. So this is going to be a bit of fun. Aww. What's that one? Is that a black cockatoo, this one? Oh, red tail one. This is Teddy and this is Matt. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Do you have him, Trish? Oh, black coffee. Hello. Suits you? Yeah. What are you doing up there? Hey, what are you doing up there? King of the castle. Somebody on me. Who's on me? Who's on me? Oh, I need to watch my glasses, don't I? Watch my specs. He's a handsome boy, isn't he? He's eyeing you up, Gemma. That's a girl. That's a girl. <laughs> they love well, yeah, she's they? eyeing you up then. Oh, I'm really hoping now is not the time to put. <laughs> like. 
Don't poop now. Hold no. it. Hold it. If ever there was a time not to poop. No, you don't want to. You don't want that, do you? No. <laughs> Especially not now because it's bums around the front. <laughs> I'm getting so nervous that it's gonna have jinxed it. Hello you. You just having a little rest? Having a little rest? Oh, so it's a slender build gorilla. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello, slender build gorilla. Hi, name oh, who's this, <laughs> this on me? Who's this on me? Chicken here. Hello. 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 <laughs> In this next section, there's some macaws. I will also point out we are, do have the smallest macaw in the world. Up the top there, that little green one with the white face is a Hans macaw. It just suddenly landed on me. Um, so the no invitation or anything. So Quite rude, you. I don't mind. Oh, you're getting the butt. <laughs> Oh, he's going back. Gemma, are you getting a shot? Mm -hmm. There you go. Is there a bird here named Butters? There is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I wouldn't be able to tell you. He's good colours, him, isn't he? Really bright orange, yellows, and blues. He's going on the head. He's up. Yes, he's up. His face is hiding from me. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you are, hiding round the back. He's big, isn't he? So he could bite your finger off, couldn't he? Yeah, so her bite force goes all the way up to 2,000 psi. 2,000 psi. Oh, you can just stay right there, pal. Stay right there. Queen to the late great Steve Irwin. All right. All good.